Good morning, Robert Scribbler. It is July 30th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk a bit about the present heat wave situation in the Northern Hemisphere, particularly focusing in on Europe, which has recently seen a climate attribution study indicating that the present European heat wave was between two and five times more likely due to human-caused climate change as a result of primarily fossil fuel burning and other greenhouse gas emissions into the Earth's atmosphere, causing the Earth to warm. Now, for this picture that we are looking at now, we're going to go back in time to June of 1886. And the reason why we're going to do that is because a number of, of climate change deniers have talked about the present heat wave in the context of the United Kingdom and stated that, oh, well, the UK heat wave of 1976 was also quite intense. And just because the UK experience is experiencing a heat wave now, that's just nature. That's just, you know, natural variability. And, and there's a very easy way to, to tell whether or not climate change related events, related extreme weather events are occurring in the usual context. And, and that is to look at the context itself. Now, the reason why I'm going back to 1886 is the world was much cooler then. Atmospheric carbon dioxide levels were in the range of around 285 to 290 parts per million. The greenhouse gas forcing overall was in about the same range, uh, about 285 to 290 parts per million carbon dioxide equivalent forcing. And the Earth was substantially cooler, about 0 0.39 degrees Celsius cooler for the month on a global basis than the 1951 to 1980 average. Now, the Earth has overall warmed up considerably since that time. So we're going to just go ahead and go forward to 1976 and, and look at the difference. So you'll note that the, the Earth overall from June to June over that 90-year period warmed up a bit about, by about 0 0.24 degrees Celsius. And, and this June of 1976 is notable in that it was one of the last months in which the Earth saw a temperature that was below NASA's 20, 20th century baseline of 1951 to 1980. And, but during this time, we did see a European heat wave. And, and as you can see here, it was most intense in the region of the UK, France, and Spain. But overall, the Earth was somewhat cooler than the 20th century baseline that NASA uses. Now, moving forward to the present June of 2018, we find that the Earth looks quite a bit different. So I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and, and flip from 1886 to 2018 and from 1976 to 2018. So the difference is focusing in on Europe. One is that the European heat wave is occurring in a global context in which global heat is rampant. And this is notable because, well, this heat wave here, even though it was extreme for Europe, it is not particularly extreme when you compare it to other heat waves occurring around the globe. Now, this is an anomaly map. It shows temperature departures from normal, but it's also a good indicator of heat waves, particularly in the middle latitudes. So, so what we're seeing here is that this heat wave is, is a record shattering heat wave for Europe, but it's occurring at the same time of other heat waves in the Middle East, in the US Southwest, in Central Asia, and in uh, warmer, much warmer than normal temperatures, winter temperatures in Southern Africa, and of course, much, much warmer than normal temperatures in Antarctica. So 
So this is occurring in the context of a warmer than normal globe. Now, what does that do? That a warmer than normal globe increases the likelihood that any region on the surface of the Earth will experience a heat wave. So, so the climate context is quite a bit different than 1976 and, and radically different than 1886. So I just want you to think about that for a minute as we move on to this new attribution study that has come out. Now, World Weather Attribution is a scientific organization that is one of the world's leading bodies in fingerprinting extreme weather to human-caused climate change-related influences. And they undertook a study that compared probabilities for heat waves in the past to the present under human, present human greenhouse gas forcing. And what they found was that heat was very extreme, particularly near the Arctic cir Circle and in Scandinavia and, and in the northern region of Europe, and, and was quite extreme into Central Europe although not quite as extreme of a departure. And overall, the study found that, that there were, that, that, it, that this kind of heat wave was made five times, up to five times more likely because of human-caused climate change. And drilling down, the study suggests um, and I'm just going to read this quote from Carbon Brief. The findings suggest that rising global temperatures have increased the likelihood of such hot temperatures by five times in Denmark, three times in the Netherlands, and two times in Ireland. So because of the overall context, the, the present heat wave, heat wave was between two to five times more likely so just think about that for a second. Now, drilling down a bit into the study, this, the study used various climate change signature data to include anomaly maps. And one of the key features in, in this particular study was the frequency of maximum daily temperature compared to averages over the over the 20th century and as you can see here the frequency of maximum daily temperatures in central to northern europe were quite extreme now looking forward this heat wave in europe it, it, under a business as usual fossil fuel burning scenario which is the highest carbon emissions scenario for scientific studies such as the IPCC. By the 2040s and 2050s, this kind of heat wave is likely to occur about once every two years. So basically an average occurrence because of the added heat forcing due to human-caused climate change. So if someone tells you that, well, it was just as hot in the UK in 1976 as it is now, then yeah, they're telling you the truth, but they're not looking at the bigger picture. They're not looking at the likelihood of heat waves due to human-caused climate change. So thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.